सब्सक्राइब कीजिए एस डी ट्यूटोरियल्स चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हाय गाइस वेलकम टू एस डी ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिंटिंग राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल इन सी प्लस प्लस using the binary numbers which is 0 and 1 so our pattern will look somewhat like this guys see this will be our pattern so now the main logic of the pattern is that every time the modulus uh, which means the remainder of 2 of the column variable is printed so if you notice that when the column variable is 1 uh, each five times one modulo 2 which is equals to 1 is printed and for the next four times 2 modulo 2 equals to 0 is printed and the series goes on so let us try to execute the code by implementing this logic guys uh now i have opened my turbo c++ so let me open a new file and let me write the header files now uh, hash include iostream.h and hash include conio.h now i will declare the main function that is uh, void main and uh, i will open the curly braces and i will use clear screen function which will clear the main black screen so we, we doesn't have any confusion anymore now i will declare three variables of integer data type which are i j and n now here i have used n to accept the number of rows for printing the pattern n is for accepting the total number of rows now i will display the message to the user that enter the number of rows you want to print this pattern enter the number of rows and the value of this rows i will store in the variable n i will display another message to the user that the desired pattern is and i will give a new line uh, to make it pretty now the main part of the program which we have to do is the loops i will use i and j for looping and uh, i will initialize i with 1 and i less than equals to n will be my test expression because we have to print the pattern for n times and then i will print i will increment i by 1 now in the inner for loop uh, i will and again initialize j with 1 and j less than equals to i because we have to print j and we have to increment j according to i and now i will output or sorry i will display the column variable modulo 2 which is j modulo 2 and after that i will give a space i will give a space so that uh, the pattern doesn't look compact and i will give a new line as it is required so our program is almost done so let's do the get ch function it will freeze our monitor so now let's compile the code guys and let's see that if we have any error or not yeah it is success now let's run oh. i will enter the number of rows as 5 yeah we got this desired output guys you can see that now now let's try for some bigger number of rows that is uh, for 16 number of rows the pattern is yes this is uh, this is our pattern guys So this was our video guys uh, hope you liked it if you like please share it with your friends subscribe our channel